are doing a train ride through the gorge. We're in Cannon City and they have a train ride that goes through the gorge and you get to see this amazing, this beautiful uh, looking bridge. But yeah, it's very similar to like the train ride Kaylee and I did in Machu Picchu. They have like a vista dome, they have an area where you can like go out and view the canyon. So it's gonna be super cool. It's an activity that, I mean, if we go outside on the train, it's gonna be freezing, but we don't have to be outside in the freezing cold. Uh, and it's definitely an activity that I would recommend to do in the winter because it is so brutally cold here. Um, next weekend, it's supposed to be like 50 plus degrees, and then we'll get a chance to do some of the cool hikes around. But right now we're trying to stay warm. Going under the bridge, the views are so much better out here. It's so much clearer than the windows. You get the glare, but um, the views are absolutely amazing inside the canyon. An aspect of the Royal Gorge train ride that I really enjoyed that I wasn't expecting is the train actually goes through the gorge and then it stops and turns around and comes right back through the gorge. It's nice seeing areas that if you missed it on the way through, you get to see it on the way back. Kaylee actually saw goats on the way through um, and we knew where they were on the way back. We didn't see them on the way back, but it's nice that the train reverses so it gives you the opportunity to see stuff um, that you missed. And now we're above. This is the United States highest suspension bridge. There's no higher bridge at elevation that is suspending, which is kind of cool that we're getting to walk on it. There are some gaps between the wood when you're walking across that are a little bit larger than you would expect, and the bridge shakes more than you would expect as well. But it's so beautiful up here, and I'm so glad it's less cold than the last time we were here because the train ride was freezing. My entire fist can fit in this hole. finished at the bridge. The bridge was amazing. Um, I loved walking across it. The views were beautiful and you also get to go and like learn the history about it which is always nice knowing like the history of the area and how it came to be. Um, so very cool. The only thing is we're here in January. It's midwinter. Not the coldest day. Not the warmest day. But the gondola is shut down and it will also be shut down tomorrow. Womp. Why does it have to be closed? <laughs> the gondola is the main attraction. We wanted to go. We're disappointed. But you still liked it? It was still really cool. We arrived at the Bishop's house and it's everything I hoped it'd be. It's so beautiful. at your own risk.
This is insane. Kaylee's headed back down. I gotta go to the top of the tower to see it through. Kaylee. All right, I almost made it to the top. This is not for the faint of heart. Like, some of this steel scaffolding is definitely not, not as it's supposed to be, but we're making, a, I'm making my way up because I gotta see the top of this thing. It's very old, it's very beautiful, but I just, I don't know if I can trust some of these walkways. Holy cow. This bridge goes up and over. Oh my god, that's so terrifying. It literally says Stairway to Hell. So this part does go up a tiny bit more to this metal casing, but the scaffolding is just so sketchy that I don't think I can get up there. I'm not going to risk it, but it's a beautiful view up here at the top of the castle. And out, down I go. Kaylee couldn't do it. <laughs> Well, the main tower is uh, has nerve-wracking, not really is. If you plan on coming to the bishop's castle, I will just note that it's kind of creepy being the last ones here. This place isn't as like established as I thought it was. There's no one here running it. You're basically on your own to go up in the castle and view everything. And uh, there was a sign that said like there were like robbers. So like people could rob your car and like we're here alone. So I don't know exactly what goes on, but it does give a little bit of a spooky vibe. So I think we're gonna head out. Yeah. I went up in it and it's a sketch ball, so be super <laughs> careful.